What is up guys, Crafter here, and today I'm showing you how to set up ranks and permissions on your Minecraft modded server. Now, it doesn't matter which mods you have or which plugins you then want to add, I'm going to give you the skills necessary so that whatever you want to add to your server, you know how to set up the permissions for it. So first things first, we're going to go over to spongepower.org and we're going to scroll all the way down to downloads. If you click the downloads button up here, it'll just scroll you down for you. See, it pretty much... Actually, no, it took me to a server website, but it's the same download. Anyway, we're going to download Sponge Forge here, and this is for 1.12.2. That's what we're looking for, so we're going to hit download. Once this downloads, hit keep. All right, so once that downloads, I ended up downloading this second one here on the downloads list, the most, the most recent one updated five hours ago, because um, for some reason this download wasn't working for me, the main one, but it should work for you, no worries, guys. Um, and it doesn't really matter which one you use as long as it's, as long as it's recent. Um, so then what we're going to do is we're going to take this sponge forge and open up our server folder, go into mods, and just drop it in there. Once we drop it in there, we're going to run our server. All right, now our server has ran. I'm just going to type stop and close it. All right. Um, next thing we're going to want to do to set up permissions, we're now going to want to use, for guys, for the plugins that you're going to add to your modded server, you have to use SpongeForge. That's why we're downloading this. This will make it so that your mods will now work with plugins. The plugins you all get on Sponge. You just want to go Sponge and then go to Or, and you can find all the plugins here. But we're going to be specifically working with this one, which is going to set up your permissions, which you're going to need when trying to set up any of these. So to set up any of these, first you have to set up this one. Um, so we're just going to go to versions, find the latest, download, keep. Show in folder, refresh, all right, there we go. And then we're just going to do the exact same thing. This is really how easy it is to install new plugins and mods. You just throw your plugins as well into the mods folder. And now we're good to go. We just run the server again. All right, now that our server's up, this next part actually takes place in game. So we're just going to refresh to see that our server's up. To connect to your server, you're just going to use the IP localhost if you don't know how already. Well, because my my server is a Pixelmon server, it's just going to have a pick a Pixelmon, but it doesn't matter what type of server you have. However, if you're watching my tutorials, they will be based around Pixelmon. But again, I'm giving you the skill set so that you can do this regardless of the type of server you're trying to set up, okay? So, no worries, I got you covered. All right, all right, we got this. So, first things first, we're going to want to set up our ranks. Now, the default rank is just called default. Um, I guess, you know, just, just leave that as as it is. But let's say you wanted to create a mod rank, you type, oh, one thing. It's slash LP. Now, if it only tells us our version, no permissions are set up yet. All right, so we don't have permissions to use lucky perms yet. So see what it's telling us right here? LP user deck craft permission set permission luck perms dot star true. The reason for that is because we have to now go into our console and literally type that in, user, so it's lucky perms, user, deca crafter, oh. and then you're setting the permissions, and permission, and then you're going to do set, and then to unset a permission, you just type unset instead of set, just put unset and you remove a permission, but we're going to do set, and then we're going to do luck perms dot star and we're going to set that to true now that we've done that if i type slash lp now i can type lp help and view available commands now i have all commands in lucky perms that is how you set up command specific for a person so lp user deca crafter permission set and then you type so like if we go to luck perms I'll put a link to this in the description. Here's the list of all the permissions. I'll also put a link to all the commands, which is right here in the description too. So don't worry guys, I got you covered there as well. But for any plugin that you're looking for on the plugins page, you're going to find somewhere that will tell you all the permissions. Now to get all the permissions for the plugin, that is why we type luckperms.star. 
because that means it's going to be luckperms dot whatever can come after that. Right? So if you did luckperms.group.star, you would have all of the group commands. And you can do that for any plugin. Now, there are a couple plugins like WorldEdit that prefer you use other commands because it breaks them. Uh, grief Prevention is one of the ones, actually, not WorldEdit, it's Grief Prevention that breaks if you don't use the proper Grief Prevention permissions. But for the most part, you can literally type in the name of the plugin or whatever the permissions handle is, and then put a dot, and then put a star, and you'll have all of the permissions for that plugin. And it looks just like plugin set plugin dot star, whatever your plugin handle is, plug or rather permission handle dot star. And then you have all the permissions for that plugin or mod, because uh, it's for mods as well. Now we're going to be setting up a rank. So first thing we're going to want to do is LP create create group or do mods group mods was successfully created. Now I'm just teaching you guys the very basics of what you can do with this. Um, because I'm providing a link to all the commands and permissions, if you want to read more, I highly suggest, guys, you're going to learn a lot faster if you just read what those commands do and then set the permissions yourself um, and set up the ranks, like, you know, the colors and everything like that. I don't need to show you. That's something you guys should read because it'll help you in the future, especially when working with other plugins. Okay, so we're going to do LP um, group mods. Ooh, nope, no, parent set, and we put default. So now mods will get all of the commands that default gets because it's set as the parent. So if you added an admin rank, LP group, ooh, LP create group admin lp group i'm just going to modify this admin parent set mods so now the admin group will get all of the mods permissions the mods will get all of the default permissions so whatever mods get admins get um, you don't need to set default permissions for mods and admins because they're already getting it from the default group um, so that's how you set up parents, and that's what really what you guys need to know as far as this goes and setting up the permissions. Um, so let's say I had a mod like Pixelmon Extra. I would just do LP. Um, if you want to set permissions just for you specifically, that's when you use user. But to set permissions for a group, LP group, and we're, let's say, um, let's let's go mods actually. Let's go. Uh, nope, not parent. We want permission set. Um, and look, it already knows lock perms here. See, look, and you can just hit tab and it'll kind of go through all the different permissions. Uh, if you don't already know what they are, I don't want to type them out. Um, but I think there's default Minecraft permissions. Anyway, I don't know what they are. Um, so, yeah, guys, so if you want to set up permissions or... Um, commands for your users, that's how you do it. You would just assign those permissions to those groups using slash LP group default um, permission set. And then you would type out the permission that your plugin, whoop, if we open up the plugins page, whatever command it is that you want them to have. So if I put in this permission there, they would get this command then. But essentially, that is how you set up permissions and plugins on your Minecraft modded server. If this video helped you out, guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, share it with your friends if they're interested in making servers. Um, if there's any tutorials you guys need, please let me know, and I'll be more than happy to make them. I hope you guys have an awesome day.